Has anybody ever told you that your brain cells never grow back? That if you smack your head on something and kill a few brain cells, those precious IQ points are lost forever? It's not entirely true. If it were, you'd never be able to form new memories or learn new things. In fact, neuroplasticity allows the brain to continuously build and repair internal connections, and whatever you are doing in any given moment, you are constantly training your brain to become better at it. Whether you're 90 minutes old or 90 years old, your brain is always developing and strengthening neural pathways to help you do whatever you need to do. Binaural beats can be used to help the brain achieve mental states that were previously only available to people who spent years and years meditating. What could you do with more brain power? Could you levitate? Bend spoons with your mind? Travel through time? Let's not be ridiculous here. If you go straight for that heavy weight when you first walk into the gym, there's a chance you might strain something. Even the world's most intense athletes know the value of a warm-up. So if you're listening to a binaural track that was designed to slowly bring you into a certain state, I would encourage you not to fast forward. Let the track play and give your brain time to move. If you're new to binaural beats, I recommend starting with gentle tracks that were created for beginners for at least the first two weeks. Binaural beats are more easily detected by the brain at lower sound frequencies. Because people's ears are less sensitive to low frequencies, they might be tempted to turn the volume of their headphones up to an unsafe level. For this reason, my binaural tracks are always set to 20% of max volume. Your headphones should be just loud enough to hear the wobbling sound, then you know it's working. Cranking the volume isn't going to change your state any faster. The brain normally functions in cycles of around 90 minutes, during sleep and waking. If you're new to binaural beats, I would not suggest listening to any track for longer than 90 minutes. You can't go to the gym and lift weights for 10 straight hours, you need to let your body repair or it'll never grow. Your brain also needs time off to do whatever it has to do naturally. You can in fact form new neurons and pathways in your brain, but it takes time. Rushing it won't help. Some people report symptoms like anxiety and headaches the first couple times they listen to binaural beats. When your brain is in the process of developing new connections, you may experience a sort of upheaval as old thoughts, feelings and memories come to the surface. Just like in traditional meditation, if this does happen, the trick is to observe and let go. Don't judge or get wrapped up in it. It's only noise. It'll fade over time. If you do experience upheaval, limit the use of binaural beats to 30 minutes per day for the first two weeks. Can people really put subliminal messages into their binaural tracks? Actually, yes. The subconscious mind is in a constant state of accepting everything it sees and hears, and when people are relaxed, they're less resistant to subliminal messages. But if you're concerned that my tracks might try and brainwash you into doing something, never fear. My binaural videos are created with total transparency. I tell you exactly what's in every track, and you can verify it all using a spectrum analyzer. See? No hidden messages. Some people say they hear music or a low-pitched hum after they listen to my tracks. I get this too sometimes, and it usually goes away after a minute. It's kind of the same thing as staring at a picture for a minute, then looking away. The nerves are still active. Keeping the volume low will help prevent this. After using binaural beats for over 14 years, I found them to be excellent at helping me sleep, helping me feel alert, and helping me focus and learn easier. I don't exactly turn into Bradley Cooper in Limitless, but I know that whenever I listen to binaural beats, I'm using as much of my brain as possible. So, what's the best way to use binaural beats? Learn more in the next video.